Hi guys. Before you watch this video, there should be a link to a story called Flashlight by Lizzie Boyd. And it is a story that doesn't have any words, but the pictures help you understand what it's like for a young boy to go out in the middle of the night with his flashlight and to see what wonders are out there. Now, if you see animals out there, those would be nocturnal animals. That means they're active at night. And just the other, just everything that's out in the world at night has a different perspective to it when you see it, especially if you get to go out and play with your flashlight. So today I kind of took that idea from the book and I decided we are going to draw some mystery pictures or night pictures. And we're going to use a special art flashlight to help those mystery pictures come alive. It's a really cool project to do. You do need a few um, materials to do it. You need a gallon size baggie, plastic baggie, Ziploc baggie. You're gonna need some drawing paper, Sharpies or permanent markers. If you don't have Sharpies or permanent markers, um, regular like Crayola markers would work drawing on the bag. It's just that the Sharpie markers don't um, rub off as easy. And then you are going um, to need a pair of scissors to do this. So it's a lot of materials. You can either pause the video and go get all those materials now, or as we're doing it, pause them when you need it. I'm gonna move the camera and get you started. I'm gonna show you a few examples, and then we are going to do this really cool nighttime or dark mystery picture. All right, here we go. All right, so I have all kinds of materials sitting there. You can see I have my baggies, my drawing paper, my Sharpie markers and scissors, my pencil to draw with. And when you are drawing, I'm going to show you a few examples. I'm not gonna draw with you today. Um, I want you to come up with your idea on your landscape. So once I show you um, some ideas for it, you can stop the video and you can draw your landscape picture and then we can come back or you can watch the whole video and then do your picture and see how it turns out. All right, so what I mean by landscape pictures, we talked about nocturnal animals, animals that come out at night. So I took a piece of drawing paper and I thought about all the different animals. When I think about the animals at my house, um, we have some bird feeders and every night, I can't see them, but I know the deer come and they eat all the rest of the bird food out of the bird feeders. So every morning we have to go in and fill it up because those deers come out at night. And we have a pesky raccoon that comes up to our house and tries to get into our garbage can all the time. Um, thank goodness we don't have any skunks around our house, but there are skunks out there and fox and owls and bats, we do have bats around our house and most people don't like bats, but Mrs. A thinks bats are awesome because they eat all the mosquitoes that are out. So I thought about some of those nocturnal animals. If you watch the first art video, we talked about how to draw a frog. A frog's a really cool nocturnal animal and you can use that skill on how to draw a frog to add a frog to your picture. Or you could just take your frog picture that you drew in the first video and you can use it to do the next part of this video. And it'll make sense in just a second. So you are going to draw your nocturnal picture. So I did some trees, I did my horizon line. So I have things growing on the ground and I have the things that are up in the air. I have my spider web. Your picture does not have to look like mine. You just have to think about what you would see at night or in the dark. It doesn't even have to be animals. You don't even have to do a nocturnal picture if you don't want. You could draw a picture of your family in your house. You could draw, Anthony drew a picture and I said, hey, what was something that you, could, you wouldn't be able to see with your eyes because it's so dark? And he said, ooh, under the water. It's so dark I can't see what's happening. So he drew an underwater picture. And we have a squid, we have a treasure box. Wouldn't that be nice to find a treasure in the ocean? Some fish, he even has a little shark over here that we drew. So that was Anthony's landscape picture. Tegan said, I don't wanna do a picture in the dark. So she just drew a picture that she enjoyed drawing. She drew a rainbow and some trees with butterflies flying and a little road. Um, so whatever picture you would like to do, because actually it's not 
the picture, the drawing part, that's the cool part of this project. It's the mystery part that I want to show you. So because our story flashlight talked about nocturnal animals or those animals that were active at night, I'm going to go back to my nocturnal animal paper. And I did my picture, and we don't want to draw our details too small. In fact, Mrs. A drew her animals, and they're kind of small with her details, and so it made it a little bit harder later on. If you just want to do a couple animals and draw them a little bit bigger or draw your picture a little bit bigger so there's not teeny tiny details, it'll make the next part way easier. All right, so I have my, my background picture now is the time where we take that bag that I was talking about. So I have this big gallon Ziploc bag. And on one side it has a label part. We don't want that side. We want the back side where, let me open her up, where it's all clear. You don't have anything written on it. We want that clear side. All right. And we're going to take that bag and we're going to put our background picture and you can fold it so it fits in there perfectly so mine's a little bit wide so I'm just going to fold the edges just a little bit and fold this edge just a little bit oh my poor skunk's tail got folded just a little bit but that's okay and it should fit in that bag pretty easily so I'm going to open up my baggie and I want to turn it so the bottom of my picture is towards the opening of the bag. I'm going to stick that picture in there. Stick that picture in there. Doo -doo -doo. And it should fit in. Now this is going to be, we're going to kind of trace. So we talked about outlining with our Sharpies before. We're going to outline with our Sharpies, but instead of outlining on the paper, we're going to outline right onto this bag. So I would take my Sharpie marker and um, right on the bag, I would start outlining. So I have a brown Sharpie. I'm going to do my trees. And just over the lines that I made, I'm going to outline that tree. Now, you have to be careful not to let the paper move inside your baggie because you don't want it moving all over. We want our picture to kind of come out just like we drew it with our pencil. All right. Now, if you didn't want to draw on the white paper, you just wanted to draw your picture on the baggie, you can always just put a plain white paper inside your bag and then draw your picture with your Sharpies. But I make mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes. And so I like to do it with pencil first. That way, when I make those mistakes, I can erase my pencil and I can go back and fix it. If I do it with Sharpie first, once I put that Sharpie on there, there's no going back. So it's completely up to you, but I suggest you draw your picture on your paper first, and then you just outline that paper right onto the bag. So you can see I'm outlining my tree, and it's starting to pop, and it's on that bag. It looks like I'm just drawing on my paper because I'm using my paper as a tracer, but all it's drawing on is the bag. And I'm going to put my bark lines and I have my little squirrel so I can outline all my animals. Now I, before I started videoing, I went ahead and I started doing this already. So I'm going to pull this one out and this is going to be like, whoa, Mrs. A, you're way ahead of me. But you remember, you can always pause the video and get caught up. So I took the Sharpies and I already did my snake and my skunk, my squirrel, my spider, the bats and the mushrooms, all these things that I think I see at night. I did a moon and some stars in my picture. The only thing left I the only thing I have left is that last tree with my owl in it. So I'm going to outline my tree right now and remember I'm doing it with my Sharpie marker because these are permanent markers, so you got to be careful you don't want to get it on your clothes. You don't want to draw on your body and definitely not your parents' furniture. Okay, so I have my tree. And the last thing in that tree is the owl. So I'm going to, hmm, let's make it a bright, fun colored owl. So with my Sharpie markers, I'm going to get my blue and my pink. And another, hmm, let's do orange. And I'm going to outline that owl. So I line it back up. And I have my owl's body, so I did a U 
that I closed for his body and his belly and his wings. And then we could do a pink head. There's his tufts on the top and his eyes. Let's do his black pupils. And then an orange beak and orange feet at the bottom. All right, and if you wanted to make sure that it looks right, you could just move it to a white spot on your paper and so you could see your owl. And then I just move it back. All right, so I've outlined my whole picture and I know I got way ahead of you. So again, pause that video, get yourself caught up. But this is a really cool, really cool project if you, if you have all the materials to do it to see how it turns out. So I drew all my stuff. Now I'm going to take away that background drawing that I did and on my bag I should have all those details. Now here comes the magic part of it. I'm going to take a black piece of paper, black dark piece of paper. I think I forgot to tell you about that at the beginning. Um, it's just a piece of construction paper but anything dark, even if you had like a black t-shirt and you put the t-shirt inside the bag to cover it up. So instead of that white paper inside the bag, now we're gonna put our black paper inside the bag. And it's going to take our picture and make it look like it's dark out, like it's a night sky. So there's our nocturnal animals in the dark night sky. Now the next part, because we want these animals, just like our story, we want them to show up with our flashlight. So we have to create our flashlight. So with another piece of white drawing paper, we're going to turn it vertically and we're going to draw our flashlight. Now the flashlight's an easy part. We're going to draw two parallel lines and they're about an inch, an inch and a half apart. Okay, we don't want them too far apart. That's going to be the handle part that we hold on to with the flashlight. Okay, that's the base of the flashlight. Then on my flashlight, I'm going to do two diagonal lines. So from this pair of line, I'm going to go diagonal out and diagonal out. Okay, and then I'm going to go straight up again. So two more parallel lines going straight up and down or vertical. Okay, and that is going to be my flashlight. So now I'm going to do a curved line here that curves under like a smile. And I'm going to do the opposite curve a rainbow curve at the top. So that's the top of my flashlight. That's where the light's gonna come out. I'm just gonna add a few more details to my flashlight. So where I started this, these two straight lines, I'm gonna draw a line across. And where my these two straight lines stopped, I'm gonna draw a line across, just to give my flashlight a few details. And then we can color it. So you can get your crayons out and you can pick whatever colors you would like. This is where my light comes from. So this would be my yellow part of my flashlight. Um, I can pick whatever colors I would like. And then the last part, after I finish coloring my flashlight, I'm gonna get my pencil. And at the spot where the, the um, oval for your flashlight is, where the light's coming from, I'm gonna start a diagonal line. So right at that point, I'm going to do a diagonal line that goes up this way and come over here and another diagonal line that goes up this way. And I don't have to go all the way to the top of my paper. I just want two diagonal lines. And that's gonna be left white. We don't wanna color those yellow, we wanna leave them white. And it's gonna really make our picture pop in just a second. It's really cool. This is where our, pen, or our scissors come in. So after I've colored it, and now I'm gonna cut it out. And I have one that I started here. So you can see I cut my diagonal lines and I went across, so I have so I have this almost triangular shape coming out of my flashlight. There's the top of my flashlight where the light started. And then I just have to cut the sides. So I'm gonna come from the side and turn my paper and go up the side and turn my paper so I've cut out my flashlight. All right, you ready to see where all this is going, where this magic is happening? So I have this really cool flashlight and I have my nocturnal picture. If you remember, we had our trees and our owls and our animals that were out at night. But once we put that black paper, you can barely see them. It looks like it's in the dark. So just like our story, we're going to take a flashlight and light it up. So I'm going to 
I'm move my picture so you guys can see. I have my flashlight. I'm going to open up my Ziploc bag. And when I put my flashlight in there, I put it on top of that black paper. And ta-da! Just like if you take a flashlight out at night, you can start to see all the cool things that are awake and active in the middle of the night. My skunk over here, my snake, there's my mushrooms. If I go up, whoop! There's my bat. Okay, isn't that so cool? It looks like you're taking a flashlight out at night just for real and seeing all those pictures. Now imagine if we did that with our, um, oh, our frog picture. If we outlined our frog on our plastic bag and then we had our frogs light up. Or how cool would it be to outline your underwater picture onto a baggie and then put that black paper behind it and you would be able to see all the fish swimming in the water, okay? So how cool was that magic trick? We made it look like the flashlight is lighting up our picture. I cannot wait to see if you do a nocturnal picture or even a family picture. I can't wait to see what it looks like when you light up your your um, designs, your creations. So enjoy drawing your backgrounds. Enjoy tracing them onto your bag. Remember you need that black background inside your bag. And then we make our flashlight and we cut it out with our big white beam of light. And then that white beam of light lights up our picture. Have fun, enjoy the magic of art. Create, be creative, make your own pictures, make your own details. I can't wait to see them. See you next time. Bye.